Hey guys, Dr. Emmer. Oh my God, I hate showing these. Man dies after getting botched penis enlargement from a fake doctor. So many of these botched procedures are being done lately, not just in a in, uh, penis enlargement field, but in all of aesthetics. So many people either uneducated or unlicensed doing treatments. In this case, a patient uh, doctor who was unlicensed, actually not even a doctor, decided to inject silicone into this man's penis, causing him to get septic and die. One of the reasons why I don't like silicone in that area and I use HA fillers or PMMA, you guys can check out all the treatments that I do on Twitter and Emmer Mayo Clinic. This is a very in large increasing procedure done in my practice and in so many others, men wanting to get enlargement in that area for confidence and just better sexual satisfaction. Please don't go to somebody uneducated and do your research. Go to somebody experienced. And this patient was tricked because the doctor or the guy that said was, he was a doctor advertised his services online. Uh, turns out he wasn't actually a physician and who knows where he got the silicone, where he was credentialed from. So it's very important you to go to somebody that does a weekend course or is advertising online without experience. If you're gonna get treatment in this area, go to somebody that knows um, what they're talking about. Um, there's a lot of improvement that you can get here, a lot of self-confidence. I have patients that are just telling me about how happy they are for years. I've had them as, as patients of mine um, doing treatments in this area, but it's definitely something that um, can lead to dire consequences if not done correctly, like necrosis I've seen, irregularities, uh, lumps and bumps. Um, also, uh, permanent internal damage, like this patient got septic from the silicone going into his body causing infection and kidney failure and he died. Two big issues with this procedure, not only that this guy went to somebody who was unqualified, which obviously you need to look up credentials, look at patients, um, treatments online, the YouTube videos showing the treatments website, pictures, but also that he got silicone injections. So many doctors are going and getting training in silicone injections. Uh, silicone is an FDA approved treatment for eye uh, injection, but not as much for cosmetic treatments. It can be used off label, but it's very unsafe. It has long-term consequences that you really need to anticipate. Um, and that's why I don't like using it in the penile area. You guys know I've been doing penis treatments for over 15 years. We do fat injections, HA fillers, and PMMA with excellent results at emmermayoclinic.com and on my Twitter. Um, again, not a treatment that should be done by anyone that don't know, doesn't know how to do the treatment and isn't credentialed in doing it. There is no approval process for injections to the penis. People are just experienced based on their education.